Hello, current Obedia viewers and those new to watching the Obedia tutorial videos. Today, I'm going to get into the second part of my Mai Tai series, which is the filter section. The first video, we covered the oscillator section, going over the different knobs and parameters that you can change in that oscillator section or that you might find in any other synthesizer. Now, we're going to focus on the next phase, the filter. So let's go ahead and bring up Mai Tai. Now, I already have a MIDI loop for us to listen to as we make these changes. I'm gonna click the keyboard right here, and this pulls up our instrument, my tie. Just like last time, I'm going to initialize this device. Now, all we have is the first oscillator and the filter. So, the next thing to do is to filter. Think of a synthesizer like this. Your diaphragm is where you produce your frequencies. That's your oscillator. It's gonna determine how fast you're pushing air out of your system. That speed is gonna govern your frequency. When you get to the filter section, think about that as the embouchure. The way you shape your embouchure, you're gonna allow certain harmonics to pass and certain harmonics to diminish. So with the filter section, there's a cutoff. This cutoff is gonna tell me what is allowed to pass and what isn't. Currently, my cutoff turned all the way to the right. It says a cutoff at 20 kilohertz. Every frequency is available up to 20 kilohertz, which is the maximum of human hearing. But if I slowly start to bring this down, You know, that's like a singer going, wow. Now, we have different filter shapes. If you're familiar with an EQ, let me show you what's actually going on. So here is PreSonus Pro EQ. I'm going to set the same filter shape on the EQ. Now, here's a filter frequency button. This one is already starting at 16 kilohertz. As you can see, this is controlling the harmonics that are available inside of our Mai Tai synthesizer. We are removing or in other synthesizers, you can actually add harmonics to this signal. Now let's jump back to my tie so you can see some more of these filter shapes, what we also call slopes. So up here, we have just demonstrated this shape. This next one is the same thing, but causes a small dip right at that cutoff. And this just makes a more interesting variation to the filter slope. Now, this next one is a same filter shape, but a different slope. As you can see, hovering over the first one gives you 24 dB. That is 24 dB per octave. That means that this curve is moving downwards. 24 dBs, every octave is stretching across this window. This 12 dB slope looks like this. That's what's happening. It's like the ability of somebody trying to go up a hill. The steeper the slope, the harder it is for most people to climb that hill. Now, the next one is a shape to represent band passing. Band passing simply means that there is one area of the spectrum that we are allowed to pass. And that area is defined by a band that we so choose. 
which begs the question, what is a band? Well, when you use a parametric EQ, every one of these nodes that we can choose from is called a band. And the size between the left and the right umbrella shape is your band width. So here is one band. This is a second band. This is a third band. If we were to band pass, which means we only pass the band, we essentially will be taking out the lows and the highs. Now to hear that with my tie, All right, so where that cutoff frequency is here is basically telling you what band you have available. And everything below it and above it is being cut out. As opposed to the low pass. All right, and you can already guess that the last shape is the reverse, it's the high pass. So if the low pass is passing the lows and cutting out your high frequencies, then your high pass is passing your highs and cutting out the low frequencies. Once you understand that, you have basically understood not only a parametric EQ, the basics of, and you've understood a filter or filtering in general. Now you have some extra options here. One of it is the drive control. Now the drive control represents a ceiling, an amplitude ceiling that is inside of my tie in which you can push the signal. When you push that signal into the ceiling, it will generate extra harmonics. And the character of those harmonics is dependent on the synthesizer you use. Watch as I set this to this low pass. I'm going to push the signal. You can kind of hear some of those high frequencies coming back. All right, that's drive. Now you got punch. It's gonna sharpen the attack of the sound through the filter. Probably the second most important principle of this filter is your resonance knob. The resonance knob is simply amping the frequency at the cutoff position. That's what creates that ringing effect. Okay, that's the resonance knob. If you want to see that in action, it looks a little like this. This is your resonance at the filter cutoff point. That's what's going on when you add that resonance. However, on the synthesizer, it follows the frequency of the cutoff position. All right, that covers the filter section. There are two other parts called velocity and key tracking. However, I'm not going to cover those as of yet. I'm going to leave those in a future video covering my tie and synthesizers. All right, if you like this video, like and subscribe, leave your comments below, and stay in tune for the next video. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. 
Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.